Hi guys, this is lesson number 16 from our CorelDRAW training course series. In this exercise, we are going to learn how to import image inside CorelDRAW and how to bring picture inside frame, how to crop the image. Let's get started. I have here a few variation. I will just move these all images here. First of all, how to import picture, how to import image inside CorelDRAW. We need to go to the file, click on file, import. Okay, click on import and uh, I have one image on my desktop. You can see that I downloaded and uh, this picture I am going to use for this exercise. So I will click it and click on import. Okay, once you will click on import, now your mouse cursor is loaded with this image. If I will click, Coral Draw will place the picture with the actual size of the image. Okay, and uh, if I will click and drag, I can define my own size in the page. So the image placed inside my document. To bring this picture inside the picture frame, we need to draw a shape. As you can see here, we have a circle and picture is inside. How to do that? It is very simple. We need to draw a shape. Click on circle, click and drag, press control key to resize proportionally and that's it. So here we have a simple shape. Click on pick tool and I can select the image. Okay, to bring inside this image, what we need to do, we need to click on object in the menu bar and uh, go to power clip and place inside frame. Okay, click on place inside frame and simply click inside this frame. So the picture goes inside. To edit this picture inside this uh, frame, this round frame, we have control here under the picture. You can see that when you will click on this arrow, center content, okay, you can make fit content proportionally. You have these options here. And also beside this, uh, we have uh, log content. We have extract content. If you want to select the power clip, click on this button. And if you want to edit, click on this. So if I want to move this uh, image inside this frame, I want to adjust it. Let's say I want to bring it in the middle. I can click on select power clip content. If I will click on select power clip content, you can see that now the image inside is selected. If I will move, the image will move inside the shape. You can see that this is how we can bring it in the middle. If I will click outside now, the picture is locked with the shape and we can move both together. You can see that. And if I want, I can uh, even extract the content. I can click on this button here, extract content. Now the pictures came out. Okay, and this uh, shape, circle shape it's become picture frame now. So if I want to bring again, I can select it, object, power clip, place inside container, simply click it and it goes inside. And uh, here you can also select the power clip to edit or move inside. And there is a handy trick. You can press Alt key, press Alt key and click. And now you can see that the content is selected and I can move inside. Without that controls, you can even still do that. So click outside. And if I want, I can increase the outline. We have black outline, but we cannot see it's too small and uh, we can even change the color. Right click on the pink and here I can increase my outline. Let's say four. OK, so we have a nice picture frame. Uh, that is the way we can bring picture inside any shape you can create. Let's try to bring in the polygon. If I will click and drag polygon, press control key and uh, here we have. I want to make six sides and uh, we will just rotate it by pressing control key. You can rotate perfectly. So here we have, if I want, I can uh, bring the same image inside this frame as well. Let's copy this, press plus key and we have another. And here I'm going to extract the content. And now once again, we have a picture and we can delete this box here. We don't need. Let's make uh, two, three copies for this, press plus key we are going to use sooner here we have now if i want i can bring it inside and to adjust press alt key and click that's it okay to put the border same way the way we have done here we can right click on the color okay and then we can increase the hairline in the image any shape also you can take from the basic shape to place the picture inside you can see that here we have hard shape and uh, it is not here. It is from the basic shapes. You will go here and click on basic shapes. So you can see that basic shapes we have here. 
once you will click on basic shapes in our property bar here we have small control that the few basic shapes coral draw provide we can use that for our picture frame you can see that here we have heart shape and different other shapes so yeah i'm going to take this heart shape and click and drag so we have heart shape here and if i want to bring that image inside same procedure object power clip and place inside so this is how it's come now press alt key and if you want you can adjust you can reduce the size and wherever you want you can place okay so that is the way even we can give outline but you need to click outside select and uh, we will increase it okay another thing very useful with the picture here we have picture inside the frame okay in these three images uh, we use the shape okay to bring picture inside if i will click picture you can see that now coral dry is telling in the property that the shape is selected if i will click on this now shape property for the polygon is there and if i click this one we have circle property press alt key and now you can see that the image property it shows frame property this way directly and if i will press alt key and click we have here image property uh, we have another image okay this is a copy of the same image and uh, we are going to crop the picture here okay we are not going to place inside the shape so if you will crop the image you will not be able to give the border around okay because picture itself it will be cropped with the same shape let's say uh, i will take one sh more shape here from basic shape uh, i can take another hard shape and uh, i will bring this shape on the top of this picture here okay so here you need to make it sure that whatever the area you want uh, you need to set it now because uh, it's not like a power clip that you can move inside once the shape is there and your desired place you adjust it you can select both the picture and shape together and uh, the way we have done before you can click on intersect once you will click on intersect you can see that the intersected part of the picture it's come inside the shape shape is there still okay we can delete it but in this case you know the image itself it's cropped there is uh, no shape around like this circle or polygon itself image is cropped so we cannot apply any outline and if i will right click look at this no outline so what does it mean the picture itself it is cropped with that shape okay and that shape we can modify even from the shape tool here you can click on shape tool and if i will click on this point look at this i can add it this way okay this is cropped image there is a no shape around same thing if we want uh, we can use the shape tool and we can customize our shape if i want to bring the picture with my desired crop i can do that i can click on shape tool and from that point i can modify let's say now the points are selected if i will click and drag inside look at this the image has been cropped so control z to go back i will select this point or maybe i can click in the middle here and i will click on convert to curve now once it is convert to curve i can give curve this way look at this click on this point and here we need to bring it a little bit down so the picture area it will not go out from our crop so this way we did now at the bottom here if i want i can click in the middle again here and uh, go to convert to curve okay and from this directional handle i can bring it up this way so you can see that any shape you want you can uh, give this way so here we don't have any uh, shape around the image we just modify with the shape tool i just show you the way you can do it uh, perfectly more nicely you can crop the image so this way we have done sometime you want to bring back the image okay in this case here we can extract the content the image will come out right but in this case what we need to do here we don't have any option to extract the content so simply you will click on shape tool and select all the point around okay and press delete delete key the image come back in this case also same thing you can do now our picture is in the hard shape if i want i can click on the shape tool select all the points around and press delete key now our image come back 
control z undo so that's all about the picture how to import picture in corel draw how to bring picture in the frame and how to crop the image you can try to import any image from your computer and uh, try to practice this guys if you like my video please subscribe my channel and click on the bell button so you will always get notification once i will upload new video thank you